The Landlord's Mistake <clears throat> Once when John Adams was still president and Thomas Jefferson was vice president, there were not uh -huh. even of America. There were there was not even one real road, 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 real road in the world. The whole world. Not 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 America lang. Just the whole world. Even in Europe. And uh, no, people wouldn't travel too much. You know? And... Yeah, the, the, the roads are, were not really that smooth and straight in the olden times. But they were somehow crooked and... A bit zigzaggy, you know. Yeah. And um, if a man was obliged to go from one city to another, they would often use horseback instead of using bags, you know, for their a trunk, you know, for their stuff. They would use saddle bags instead of being in the 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 the, the nice nice and uh, nice. Um, like shielding of a car, they would just be jolting around in the mud, sometimes even in the rain. Yeah, once two men were in a hotel in Baltimore and saw a man horseback riding, you know, horse riding, and very slowly, and that. They, he and his horse were uh, no, covered with mud. This, 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 this guy was a horseman, you know. Then one of the men said, Ah, there comes Farmer Mossback laughingly, laughingly. On his horse. Then uh, the other one said, Yes, here he comes, very slowly and and covered with mud. I wonder where he will where he will stay. Then the landlord said, "Well, any place can he can go to any place. Any any place can suit him. For he is that kind of countryman who can sleep in haymows and eat with the horses. Yeah." So then, <clears throat> the visitor came. He was just plainly and had uh, his hair reddish, kind of brownish, reddish brownish. He was just there, and then he asked the landlord, "Do you have a room for me?" <clears throat> then the landlord said, "Well, the landlord thought that." He was a bit messy, and he really wanted to keep his pride in being ano, a fancy hotel. So he said to the to the stranger, "Oh no, every room is full, but I can send you to the barn." Then the stranger said, "Well, okay, um." Well, maybe they'll welcome me in Planter's Tavern. Yeah, um, yeah. Then, an, an hour after that, a well-suited gent gentleman came in and said, I would like to see Mr. Jefferson. Came in where? In the hotel. Okay. I would like to see Mr. Jefferson. Then the landlord said, Mr. Jefferson is not here. He's talking about Thomas Jefferson. Mr. Jefferson is not here. Then and again, the suited gentleman said, Well, he should be. I met him like an hour ago, just riding out of this town. Riding in the town, 
then the landlord said, wait, and then, I know, wait, and then the gentleman said, is there any, is there any chance that he had been in this hotel? And then, the landlord said, no, he hasn't. The only man had, that had been here was an old man riding a horse not not suited too well not dressed too well yeah oh yeah and uh, no, the the landlord also said yes i sent him to the pl plug first then the suited gentleman said ah, was he did he have reddish brown hair and was he also riding a gray horse then the landlord said, yes, he was, and he was also quite tall. Then, then the city gentleman said, that was Mr. Jefferson! <laughs> then uh, no, the landlord said, Mr. Jefferson! <laughs> <laughs> the vice president! <laughs> then he said, here, Dick, go and make a fire in the Jefferson was there sitting with some friends. Brock! Then the landlord said, <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, come back to my home, please. You were so bespattered in mud that I thought you were just some old, some old. Farmer, please come back to my house. You can have the best room, all the rooms if you ins if you insist. Then, Mr. Jefferson said, "No, a farmer is as good as any other man. If there's no room for a farmer, there's no room for me." The end.